Well, welcome back to part two of this product demonstration for the DSD 8127 12-drug uh, saliva screening test kit from UK Drug Testing. Just going to run you through here the elements that are contained in the pack. First thing we're going to talk about is the evaluation card which comes with the pack. Now, this is a generic evaluation card which includes tests which aren't included on this in addition to the alcohol test which is. So uh, this is a screen for adulteration uh, analysis where an adulteration test is included in mainly urine drug tests. So the first thing to say about that in relation to this test is to ignore all those. The only relevant element of this evaluation card which you need to pay attention to when reading your results is the alcohol evaluation. Now this will show that the negative result uh, is a simple uh, non-colour changing pad which will remain in the uh, slightly cream off white colour that is shown if we show you the uh, test before it's run. That is the negative result and it's the uh, non-run colour pad. If alcohol is detected then it will give you a varying blue discoloration. Uh, depending on the concentration of alcohol, this will uh, give you a reading at the lowest level of 0 0.02, uh, indicating darker bands uh, for higher levels at 0 0.04, 0 0.08, and at 3% or 300 milligrams. So that is an extremely high level of alcohol at the one end, and the HSE cutoff for most workplace testing, what they would normally refer to as zero tolerance testing of 0.2% BAC. Uh, at 20 milligrams per uh, 100 mils at the other end. So that's the evaluation card. The test kits, you get 20 of these individually foil wrapped in a carton. Uh, this is the outer of the foil. The inside test is a barrel design with a collection swab on a stick. When this is first presented, the uh, collection swab is very firm and rigid and the test will not lock together. Uh, it will only lock once that has been saturated in saliva and softened. Now for the test results you will see that uh, around the circumference of the uh, barrel are the uh, 12 test membranes. These uh, have coatings on them and the coatings uh, on the data sheet relate to the drug abbreviations. Now in most part these are pretty straightforward. OPI for opiates, COC for cocaine, AMP for amphetamine, OXY for oxycodone, BZO for benzodiazepines, MTD for methadone, THC for tetrahydrocannabinous or cannabis, PCP, TCA for, sorry, ALC for alcohol, BUP for buprenorphine, BAR for barbiturates, MET for methamphetamine. So around the circumference are your uh, 11 drugs and one alcohol test. Also on the side of the uh, test barrel are result interpretation guidances with a positive result being uh, indicated by a control line but a completely absent test line at the read time and then a negative result being indicated by the presence of a test line whether it's thin, faint or very discreet. Invalid results would be where either no test lines or control lines show or no control line is shown. These would occur most commonly if inadequate saliva had been put in the uh, barrel to run all of the 12 tests included. So the simple procedure card guides you in terms of the elements of this, the sponge collector, the transparent strips and support, and the collection chamber, uh, how to unscrew Collect the sample, which will take between four and five minutes to completely saturate the swab. And a critical element of running this test correctly is the collection of an adequate three to four mil saliva sample on that swab. Uh, it also then runs you through uh, putting the test back together by screwing the cap down into the barrel of the test. The saliva is discharged to run on the uh, 12 test membranes and then guide you in terms of reading the results at 10 minutes for this test. Uh, it does guide you in terms of not coming back and looking for uh, test lines that may form beyond an hour. Our guidance is to shorten this to a much shorter window and not to interpret uh, any results beyond the 10 to 15 minute boundary as a maximum. So in the following part, what we'll do is run one of these tests for you and run you and guide you through interpretation of the test results.